The roller at A is moving with a velocity of VA equals 4 meters per second and has an acceleration of AA equals 2 meters per second square when XA is equal to 3 meters. Determine the velocity and acceleration of block B at this instant. This is clearly a dependent motion problem because moving A causes B to move. And we have a coordinate for A as shown, so we need to define a coordinate for B also as shown. So we take that from a fixed reference going to B. And now finding the relationship between A and B starts by defining the length of the cable. So this portion here, xA square plus 4 square under the square root. And this portion here is yB, so if we add them together, we will get the total length. And to find the velocity and acceleration of block B, then we need to differentiate this equation twice to find y dot b, which is vb, and y double dot b, which is ab. So by taking the first derivative, the square root is just a bracket to the power one half. So we take the one half down, and the power becomes minus one half. And then we take the derivative of xa square, which is by chain rule becomes 2xa times the time derivative of xa, which is x dot a. So by doing this, we finished the derivative of the square root, plus the derivative of yb, which is y dot b, and this is equal to zero because the length is constant. And knowing that x dot a is va and y dot b is vb, we just rearrange the first part and take y dot b to the other side to get this velocity equation of the block. And by direct substitution of xa, which is 3 given, and va, which is given also as 4 meters per second, we get the velocity of b, which is minus 2.4 meters per second, or 2.4 meters per second directed up because the positive is pointing down. And now to find the acceleration, we have to go back to our first derivative. So we take again the derivative of the first part, which consists of a multiplication rule of derivatives. Consider this as a and this as b. So we have to take the derivative of a multiplied by b and then add a multiplied to the derivative of b. So this first part is the derivative of a multiplied by b plus a, which is the same, multiplied by the derivative of b. And note here also that b has a chain rule. It is a and b within this bracket. So we have to do the same chain rule inside, which is the derivative of xa, which is x dot a, multiplied by b, which is x dot a again, plus a, which is not changing, xa, multiplied by the derivative of b, which is x double dot a. And then we just add the second derivative of y dot b, and this is equal to zero. So now we take this first part, which consists of xa, x dot a, which is va, and x double dot a, which is a of a, to one side, and then the other side will be y double dot b, which is the acceleration ab. And by rearranging, we will get this value, which is minus 3.25 meters per second square, or as we said before, 3.25 meters per second square up because the direction of acceleration is taking positive down.